In this video, we will teach you our capturing techniques. To join our global pilot network, register at inflights.com pilot. We all know that photogrammetry results can be only as good as the dataset quality. There is no way around that. Here, you will learn some more theory on example scenarios. But first, let's take a look at different overlap levels that we use. The theory about overlap was explained in previous videos. At InFlights we tested a couple of different approaches, and here is an overview of overlap values that we usually use. Those values may change from project to project, but this should give you some idea what your overlap values should look like. Please note that for some projects, there is some margin included in the overlap setting. For example, when we do terrain mapping, we need the trees reconstructed. This is why there is a bit higher front overlap value. Feel free to pause the video here. Correctly exposed images is another important factor in drone mapping. You want your picture's brightness just right. This means using the correct camera settings to eliminate very bright areas and very dark areas. After extensive testing at inflights, we developed a general camera exposure setting guide for the most popular mapping drones. This is DJI Phantom 4 RTK and DJI M300 with P1 camera. The links to those articles can be found in the video description. Now let's take a look at some examples. For terrain dataset capture, we typically do a single grid flight with 85% front overlap and 75% of side overlap with nadir camera angle. The main goal here is to reconstruct the ground surface as well as the vegetation in the area of interest. The reconstructed trees and DTM surface is important for solar panel design companies. For this, we typically do GSD of 2 cm or 3.5 cm per pixel. This value depends on the client requirements. Those days we always use RTK or PPK equipped drones with additional GCPs to georeference the project. For small and medium sized areas we use multi-rotor drones. And for areas bigger than 50 hectares we prefer using fixed wing drones to speed up the dataset acquisition process. For capturing roof and walls, we use a combination of single grid and double grid missions or one smart oblique mission. This provides a detailed view of the roof, so our processing team can convert it into CAT 3D model for further solar panel development. The camera angle for single grid is 90 degrees, and for double grid it is 70 degrees. Front and side overlap for all mission types is 75% side and front overlap. The GSD is around 1.5 cm per pixel with DJI Phantom 4 RTK. For Matrice M300 with P1 camera, it is less due to flight regulations. For roof mapping projects, the relative accuracy is what matters most. This is why no GCPs are needed if the pilot uses RTK or PPK equipped drone. To map part of a city, we use similar flight plan to the one mentioned above but with a bit of different GSD and greater overlap value. The resulting 3D model will help to design smart city projects. The flight plan consists of smart oblique flight pattern with additional orbits around buildings taller than 30 meters. The smart oblique flight pattern in DJI Phantom 4 RTK can be created by combining single grid and double grid flight patterns. The camera angle for single grid is 90 degrees and for double grid and smart oblique images it is 70 degrees. Front and side overlap for all mission types is more than previous flight scenario because we want to reconstruct tall buildings. The GSD is around 2.5 cm per pixel with DJI Phantom 4 RTK. For Matrice M300 with P1 camera it is less due to flight regulations. For city mapping projects we use RTK or PPK equipped drones with additional GCPs to georeference the project. At inflights we use handheld cameras like Sony, Nikon or Canon to map building facades from the ground with greater precision and to reach inaccessible areas that we couldn't reach with a drone. We typically take multiple pictures by walking around the building. The basic workflow here is to stand around 15 meters from the building wall. 
This will depend on the camera setup and desired resolution level. Here is an example picture of what you want to see in your image. Take pictures with 70% sight overlap. This is a fully manual process, so calculating overlap is a bit different. You can enable 3x3 grid in the camera settings and use it as an overlap indication. We do at least three orbits around the building with different camera angles for the optimal detail reconstruction. Important thing here is to remember that each point in space that we want to reconstruct must be visible on at least three images. This is especially important for area around balconies and windows. Do separate orbits with different camera angles. Standing in one place and tilting the camera does not work well in photogrammetry software. Add additional images in complicated areas, like around the trees that are close to the building entrances and L-shaped surfaces. Facade mapping scenario. This drone flight plan is vertical single grid pattern and it is meant for accurate facade mapping with a drone, for example for accurate 2D ortho projection image. DJI Phantom 4 RTK has an automatic flight plan for that. However, this can be also done manually. With the manual mode, remember to set the interval shooting mode with the fastest time available. You want to keep the camera perpendicular to the surface that you want to map, if the main goal is to generate an accurate 2D ortho projection image. For a 3D model reconstruction, add additional images with a slight angle. This will provide more detail to reconstruct complicated shapes, like areas around windows and doors. By combining roof flight plans with facade mapping, orbits and handheld camera acquisition plans, we get a good acquisition plan for mapping an entire building for an accurate 3D model reconstruction and 2D ortho projections. Let us know if you need more detailed consultations. We explained camera settings, ground control points and much more in the previous videos. Be sure to check those out and let us know what you would like to see in the next part. That's it for this video. Please watch this video a few times and see you in the next one. To join our global pilot network, register at inflights.com pilot.